Section 2. Assembly. Ecclesia. The correct translation of the Greek word ecclesia is assembly, not church. The word ecclesia, which is usually and incorrectly translated as church in most English versions of the Bible, is derived from a Greek verb, ekaleo, meaning to call out or summon forth. The noun, ecclesia, is a political term meaning an assembly of the citizens regularly summoned, the legislative assembly. The ecclesia was, from the 5th century BC, the assembly of the demos in Athens and most Greek city-states. The demos being the classical Greek term for, quote, the people as organized into a body politic, end quote. In its use of the term ecclesia, therefore, the New Testament stresses not only that members of the body of Christ are called out of the world of sin and unbelief, but also that they are called into participation in a new political organism, a new community or society with its own distinctive social order, the kingdom of God. The members of the Lord Jesus Christ's assembly, his ecclesia, constitute a holy nation under one Lord who is sovereign over the whole of life. In claiming Christ as Lord, therefore, Christians declare allegiance to a new king whose jurisdiction is total and whose law is to govern all human thoughts, actions, and relationships with all other people and things. The word ecclesia is a political term, not a cultic term, i.e., it is not a term denoting the meeting of a group of people united by their devotion to a particular deity and the maintenance and promotion of his cultus. There were many words available to denote such cultic groups in classical Greek culture and literature, which the authors of the New Testament could have used to identify the assembly of Christians primarily as a cultic group devoted to maintaining the cult of Jesus. But the New Testament, written by men under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, does not use such words of the assemblies of Christians. The New Testament does not identify the ecclesia, the assembly of those who serve the Lord Jesus Christ, as a mystery cult, but as the assembly of the citizens of a new political order, the kingdom of God, and the purpose of their assembling together is to equip the members of the assembly in their calling to proclaim in word and deed the good news of this kingdom of God to the whole world, until all the nations of the earth have submitted to the Lord Jesus Christ as his disciples.